Hi there, and welcome to the day I learned about the show where we say, yeah, 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 long live the queen. But seriously, how long has she been queen? Do you love being pushed around by somebody in a pointy hat that's been ordained by God to be better than you? Then let's form a monarchy. Kings and queens ruled the world for thousands of years. It's just how it was done. Can I be king now? No. Then, things went bad for monarchies. Really bad. During the revolutions of the 18th and 19th century, being a monarchy was dicey business. Regicide mean kings lose their head aside, more often than not. But then some countries were like, hey, we miss having fancy kings and queens. So they decided, okay, we're going to have a king, but now we're a constitutional monarchy. Basically, the monarchy follows a strict legal system and puts the old rubber stamp on whatever the people decide through democratic means. Thomas Meliclay, whoever that was, defined the constitutional monarchy as a sovereign who reigns but does not rule. In the 18th century, the British monarchy at the height of its power had colonies all across the world, including my country, Canada. Canada gained its independence and peaced out in 1867. However, it is part of what is called the Commonwealth Realms. Which kind of feels like Canada broke up with the British, but they still come over and bang us late at night when they're drunk. So the Queen is like the head of state, which means she has a whole bunch of powers technically, but never really uses them. To most Canadians, she's just some old broad on her money. Even before she was Queen, look at this cute little 8 year old Elizabeth. Adorbs. As she ages, we update her picture. At this point, she pretty much looks like George Washington. I'm not sure if she's just a real handsome woman, or George is a pretty man, or at a certain age, pronouns just really don't matter anymore. So when I say our queen, I'm doing it from a Canadian perspective. And that perspective is, oh yeah, I guess we have a queen. Is that still going on? Fuck yeah, it's still going on. Queen Elizabeth is the longest reigning queen ever. So move over, RuPaul. The real queen is here. Because this bitch has some real crazy ass powers that seem medieval as hell. First off... She is immune to prosecution and above the law in the UK, so she cannot be arrested at all. Not for murder, not for rape, not for murdering a rapist or raping a murderer. In fact, she has diplomatic immunity, so she can commit crimes anywhere in the world and suffer no consequences. What the hell? Because Britons are subjects and not citizens, she can have anyone arrested at any time and seize the property for the crown. To top it all off, she can just declare war without consulting parliament. Just decide, boom, we're at war, deal with it. Does she do this? No. Can she? Apparently. But one of the most impressive things about the queen is how long she's reigned. She became queen in 1952 at the age of 25. She is now 95 years old. She has reigned longer than the previous four kings. Her father, her uncle, who abdicated the throne to marry an American divorcee. Scandalous, I know. He only reigned for 327 days. Her grandfather and her great-grandfather, the four of them coming to a combined total of 51 years, 20 days. Elizabeth is now at 69 years, 323 days. And like the Energizer Bunny, she just keeps going. In September 2015, she became the longest reigning queen, not just in English history, but in world history beating out Queen Victoria, her great-great-grandmother, who reigned for 63 years, 217 days. Who is the longest ever, you ask? Well, hold on to your socks, because I'm about to tell you. The longest reigning king was a French king named Louis XIV, the Sun King. He gave himself that title. He was such a douchebag because he thought all of France revolved around him. I mean, which it kind of did, but I mean, come on, dude. He lasted a whopping 72 years, 110 days. So Elizabeth isn't too far off from getting that sweet title belt. Sometimes you get to hang out and enjoy being a king for a long, long time. Sometimes the bourgeoisie lead an uprising and chop off your head with a guillotine. Viva la France. Our monarch taps into the dark power of the Sith so she can live a long, unnatural life. Long live the queen. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button and check out a few of my other videos. So long and stay frosty.